Okay, talk about Altered Carbon. This is a new Netflix series. It stars Joel Kinnaman and it is set around the 24th century. It's in a society where people have little hard drives at the base of their skulls called stacks where their mind is stored. Um, so your body can die and as long as it stacks intact you can be brought back in another body. Um, or in virtual reality matrix style. Um, I'm not going to go into the full depth of the plot because there's so many different intersecting stories and threads that you can go into but suffice to say this is really heavily layered and there's lots of detail into the universe um, and it's really worthwhile taking your time watching the series. Um, you can't watch it in a big binge session and fully take it in. I recommend watching it a couple of episodes at a time. Um, the main story is that Joel Kinnaman is a sort of super soldier um, called an envoy who, try, who was part of a group that tried to bring down the society using the stacks so that people didn't have endless lifespans. Um, they failed and he, his stack was kept in prison for about 250 years before he was brought back by one of the mega rich, um, James Purefoy. He believes he was murdered and wants Joel Kinnaman's character to solve his murder. The um, reason I'm pausing is <laughs> as the story goes on you find that things aren't quite that simple um, and I'm wondering how much to spoil. I mean uh, there's a lot of detail and interwoven sort of plot elements um, but suffice to say you have a satisfying story with lots of twists and turns for all characters. Um, whilst our main character has sort of a level of superhuman ability what's really nice to see in this is that he gets lots of injuries and he gets he, he, he gets to feel a lot of pain and he's in um, difficult situations he doesn't just come out of everything um, unscathed as if it was Steven Seagal um, and that really adds to the character and to the um, to the show uh, even with futuristic technologies um, there's a full range of characters in there there's a really good female cop character who's got lots of layers and goes through some horrific things. Um, there are lots of great side characters, his sidekick and a person who runs the hotel he stays at are also really good characters and not everyone makes it out alive at the end. Um, and this certainly is a good sort of follow up to the recent Blade Runner film. So if you like the Blade Runner film or you like that kind of thing then this is certainly worth watching. Um, as I say it's got a definite beginning, middle and end and it doesn't seem to lose pace throughout. A lot of the Netflix things tend to get sort of baggy around episode 6 or 7, hits like Stranger Things included. This doesn't, this actually starts to pick up speed towards the middle and keeps getting faster. So it's got a bit of a slow start but then it gets better and better and better as more of the plot becomes uh, unravelled. And I think that's intentional because it is a mystery and you want to get to know the world before you start and raveling all the plots behind it. Um, real high quality telly, really worth watching. Um, Alter Carbon on Netflix. And it's only 10 episodes long, um, 40 minutes to an hour for each episode. Uh, final note is that if you're a bit adverse to sort of full nudity, uh, male and female, then this has got a bit of that, in line with like sort of Game of Thrones and that. But it's not sort of every other scene, but just be warned if that. Um, affect you at all.